welcome you all hope you are taking good care of yourself and spending quality time with your family at home let's make this time little more worth it as we are going to start our study before starting our study let's start this session with a little bit a small warm up activity the activity is very easy what are the activity steps the steps are there on your screen you can just pause the video and you can understand these activity simultaneously i want to tell you the activity is about what as you all are at home so you can take help of your siblings or your parents those who are free what you have to take do exactly is you need to take their small interview the interview will be about their likes and dislikes specifically in their leisure time how they spend that time you need to ask them about that for example your first question will be like this that what is your hobby or how you spend your leisure time you will get different different answers someone can say he or she likes cooking dancing listening music and so on you will get different answers second question will come like how you are trying to connect these hobbies to your day to day life again answer will be vary as per the person you need to continue the interview and you need to connect it with their routine for example i just want to give you another example over here that suppose we will talk about ms dhoni who loves to play cricket so that was his hobby which he tried to convert into his career and he was successful in that he is a cricketer as we all are aware about it in the same way if someone is giving you the answer that he or she likes cooking or cooking is my hobby in that certain case you can ask to that person that are you looking yourself as a chef in future or anything else so in that way you need to understand what are their hobbies and how they are connecting their hobbies with their life or day to day activities second thing is all this collected information you will jot down in your book a under the title of get set task in that you will mention all these details properly and after that you will get some information in your hand which will tell you about likes and dislikes with the help of this chart you can understand your own hobbies you need to ask the same question for yourself that what is your hobby or what exactly you like to do or in this case suppose someone's hobby is writing poems or drawing or anything else so the next question will be like are you looking yourself in that particular field in future if the answer is yes you will mention into the particular column if it is no that will go in no column if answer is yes in that certain case what are your plannings and what exactly you are looking for that you need to elaborate i hope you all will enjoy this activity very well after the completion of this activity we will start with the actual lesson after short and sweet activity let's start with the actual lesson that is loisa's story i read out the story for you once you will be able to see the story on your screen so let's begin with the story once upon a time there were four little girls who lived in a big house in the countryside the house was very old and creepers grew on its walls the girls had a wise father who told them lovely stories he also taught them their lessons in such a beautiful way that it was better than play their mother was merry kind woman who helped them work and play the girl had all the great green country to play in there were dark shadow woods green meadows vast fields of wheat and barley and a bubbling stream that glittered like diamonds in the afternoon sun they also had a big barn 
वन ऑफ द लिटिल गर्ल वॉज नेम लोविजा शी वॉज वेरी प्रिटी शी वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग शी कुड रन फॉर माइल्स थ्रू द वुड्स एंड नॉट गेट टाइट लोविजा हैड अ रिमार्केबल ब्रेन इन हर लिटिल हेड इट लाइक टू स्टडी इट ऑल्सो थॉट इंटरेस्टिंग थाट्स ऑल डे लॉन्ग Lovisa had a small diary. Sometimes she would sit in a corner by her, herself and note down her thoughts in it. She liked to make up stories of her own and write poems too. So my dear children, till here what we have seen the story is about a girl named Lovisa. She has three other sisters. so togetherly she is living to country aside and along with her parents and three little sisters we have seen how loisa was she is having a very good brain loisa is the main protagonist of our story how loisa was she was a very strong girl and loved to study in her free time she jot down her thoughts her different different ideas in her diary so till now we have seen where she was living with whom she was living and what kind of character lovisa was so let's start with the further part so when they all were living togetherly and happily let's move towards our story and find out that how her life was the girl would walk up early in the morning make their beds and sit down to study when they had finished their lessons they would help their mother set the table for breakfast and after that they would go to big barn to play their favorite game was pretend to play their favorite game was pretend play the girl loved acting more than anything they had made the barn into a theater and invited the grown ups to come watch the play they acted in it was a great fun one of their favorite plays was jack and the beanstalk they had a ladder that went from the floor to the loft on the ladder they tied a squash vine all the way up to the loft to look like the wonderful beanstalk one of the little girl dressed up to look like jack When it came to the part in the story where the giant tried to follow Jack, the little girl cut down Benstock, and the giant came tumbling down from the loft. The giant was made out of huge pillows. Here we understand that how these girls are spending their free time. As we know that all children love to play, but these girls like something else more than playing. so what was that actually they loved to perform the stories which stories the stories which their father was telling them at the bed time so they loved to perform all those stories and they insist to elderly people to come and see their plays their favorite story which is mentioned here was of jack and benstock as you are able to see on your screen how they try to set up for the how they try to make a setup for their story let's move towards the further part of the story another story that they loved to perform was cinderella they made a pumpkin carriage out of the wheelbarrow cinderella rolled away in it right down the aisle when the fairy godmother waved her wand loisa loved all these plays she made some of her own and write them down so that the four of them could act in them lovisa liked writing stories best she continued to write stories and wanted to get them published so here student we have and we need to understand one thing that she was not having writing as a hobby but she was thinking that whatever her writing is there that should reach to different different people so for that she was trying let's see is she successful in that or not but she was unable to do so people even told her that she was wasting her time but louisa never stopped writing at last 
One day, a publisher asked Louisa, who had now grown up into a woman, to write a book for girls. When she thought about what to put in the book, she remembered the good times she used to have with her family, with her dear mother and her wise father. She also wrote about her little sisters. She wrote about the jolly times and the plays and also about the hard time. When the book was written, she called it Little Woman. The book made Louisa famous. It was so sweet and funny, so sad and real as well. So what we need to understand here that whatever she was willing to do in her life, lastly she was successful in that. Though in the early stage where she was willing to publish her stories, no one was ready to publish her stories. Even people said to her that she is just wasting her time behind this impossible thing. But her consistency towards the writing made her a writer. One day one publisher asked her to write for girls and she has written her own life and she has given a name to book that is Little Woman. She became a well-known writer. That's the story of Loisa May Alcott, the famous American author who made a living out of her hobby. So, my dear children, in this story, what we are going to understand is, hobby is not just to do any activity in your leisure time. It is very important that how you are connecting your hobby with your day-to-day -day life and if you will wish that to make your hobby, hobby or you want to do any career in a particular field then you can turn your hobby into your career as well. For that what you require is only consistency and you need to give your best and 100%. The same way how Lovisa did the person to whom now we know as Lovisa May Alcott, a famous American writer, she has done the same thing in her life. She has not kept her diary writing at her personal level but what she has done is that she has published her writing and because of that now she is a good and a great writer. So we need to understand this thing through this story is <coughs> So this story, what we need to understand is every small step taken by you towards your goal will make you reach up to your goal. So let's have a small recap of the story, Loisa's story. As we have studied that Loisa had four sisters. She is living in a village along with her father and mother. Her father was a wise man and he was telling every day a story to these girls and girls loved to listen to those stories because stories were so interesting that girls were feeling listening story is better than to play. What was their favorite activity in their me in the leisure time we can call was to enact all those stories into play. Writer has informed us about the few stories which they like more. Simultaneously, we understood one thing about the Lovisa that she was a good writer. Whenever she was getting time, she was willing to sit in a corner with herself and she loved to write poems and stories. She was writing short stories as well. And later on, her, her this hobby was increased and she feel like to publish her stories. But it was very difficult for her. Because everyone told her that this is very difficult to get your stories published. But after a few years, when Louisa was a grown-up woman, one day when publisher asked her to write something for girls and she has written first time her first book. In that book, she has mentioned about her little sister, how they have spent their childhood, about her family, their good times and bad times as well. She has given a name to that book that is Little Woman. Later on, she has written too many books and she became a famous writer. So this is Loisa Story who became a great American writer later on in her life. While studying the story, we came across few new words. So on your screen, you will be able to see 
some new words and their meanings. You can pause this video and you can write down all these words in your notebook along with its meaning. Try to use all these words into different new sentences. With this, I want to conclude about Lolsa's story. After this, you are able to see on your screen few questions are there. You need to jot down these questions in your notebook and find out their answers. You can pause your video and you can write down these questions.